Hi there, Iron Toast here. Let's talk about how to deal with Aegis in Marvel's Contest of Champions. So in the update to War, they added these nodes called Aegis. There's an Aegis that's for Intercept, and in this case, there's an Aegis for Heavy. And so basically what that means is they are indestructible, in this case, until you hit them six times with a heavy attack, and multiple hit attacks do count as multiple hits. Um, the other one is Aegis, or excuse me, Aegis Intercept, which is a little bit more difficult. So as you can see here, he's got that indestructible uh, hammer icon. It has the, the number six below it. That means I've got to hit him with six attacks in a heavy attack. Kind of missed him on that first one, but you can see I hit him twice with the that heavy attack from Void there. Um, one strategy you can use to fight this node is to use somebody that has multiple attacks on their heavy. So you can see that when I actually hit him with the entire thing there, it takes off three of the charges. So if I if I were able to land that first one correctly, it would have been just two heavy attacks would have gotten rid of the whole thing. So now those charges are gone and it's basically just a straight, straight fight at this point. Um, it can be tricky and there are a few difficult defenders I've come across now. Um, I've been doing this path every war for a little bit. Um, Mordo is actually a pretty good one. Mordo, I found, um, can be a little bit tricky because it's difficult to intercept his heavy attack um, because he creates distance with it. And I found that a lot of people miss when you try to uh, dodge his heavy and then hit with your heavy right afterwards. However, so even though he's even though he's good for avoiding um, being able to counter his his heavy, um, he does go into the power gain mode every whatever is it, whatever it is thirty seconds. And when he's in that mode, it is easy to reel off a heavy if you're hitting into his block because he's so defensive. So uh, basically, the, the trick with Mordo is, you know, using him as a defender on that node is you're kind of playing the random number game, right? You're, you're hoping that um, he's, he's got enough power and he's keeping you on the defensive when, when he's not in his power gain mode so that you don't, you know, have a chance to hit your heavy. And then you're hoping that he doesn't try to counter your heavy while you try to hit him into his heavy, or you try to hit his heavy while he's blocking it. It is a good defender. Um, once you get used to it, it gets a little easier, but um, I would say stick him on there. Another good one's Wasp. All right, so this Aegis node, you can see there's only three counters on this one. This is Aegis Intercept, and so you have to, this is something I'm not very good at intercepting. There's one right there. Um, basically, and if you're not familiar with Intercept, you have to attack the opponent while they're dashing towards you. And that was another one just right back there. Um, the easiest way I find to do it is to uh, keep your distance. There you go. And try to hit him when he attacks you. <clears throat> At this point, again, it's just a beatdown. Um, the Intercept one, it's a little tough. Uh, there's two ways to Intercept. You can keep your distance there, um, which is the one I try to do. Or you can try to... Uh, dash back and dash forward real quick in hopes that they dash at you right after you dash backwards. Um, I'm getting used to that one, but uh, definitely not my strong suit. But I still go out this path because I like practicing things that are difficult, and um, and this definitely qualifies. Um, now Void, Void is a good, he, he's an okay um, defender on the Aegis node, the intercept one. Um, He's okay, I guess, because you're constantly having to hit him a lot to keep those debuffs off of you. Uh, but in this case, in the intercept node, other attackers that would be better would be Wasp, especially Duped. Uh, maybe the the uh, Ragnarok Thor, you know, people that have specific abilities to prevent intercepting. Those have been good counters. I haven't run across a bunch of Thors, but I have seen Wasps, and I've seen a bunch of Mordos. Uh, Ebony Maw would be a good one, too. Uh, but if you come ready, the reason I bring Domino was one of the reasons was specifically for this fight because she has six hit combos. It helps take a little bit of the pressure off of, of trying to keep your combos on those 10 intervals to stop those debuffs. All right, so one more. Um, the last node here is hidden, but I do know that it's another Aegis node, and I believe it's a heavy one. Let's just take a peek here real quick. Uh, bring it up, total mystery, no class, no rating. Yeah, Aegis heavy. So for this particular one... You know, I don't even know what the class is. Uh, I'm going to go with Domino anyway. She's going to be a good all-around choice. Um, another Mordo. Okay, so um, this will be, again, this is a little tricky just because you have to basically count on being able to hit your heavy into his block when he's got that power gain. Uh, we'll see if we can get lucky here. So, kind of missed. He backed up there. Let's try and get this one here. I feel it helpful to get him in the corner. And I only got one of those off right there. 
Uh, let's keep going here. So we're basically waiting for his power gain to come back. It's coming up soon. I got my heavy in there. Man, I wish I wouldn't have missed that first hit. That would have been nice to have that uh, even count. Oops, I let him get me there. I shook that pretty quick, thankfully. All right, there's another heavy. Uh, two hits, which is very good. You know, this is why uh, Void would be another good one for this node. Just because he has a multiple hit heavy. But I should be able to clear his here pretty quick. Yeah. So there we go. So Aegis. So a couple more points here um, before we while we finish this battle here. Um, the first one is that uh, Mordo is good. And obviously these people realize um, Wasp is very good. Thor Ragnarok. I haven't seen a lot of them, but I feel like he would be pretty good. Void is good. Um, the main kicker is when you, when you plan to attack a node like this one, uh, you want to bring somebody that has a lot of high, that really high damage output, and that's one of the reasons I use one of the reasons I use Void, and then the, another reason I use Domino, especially going into the blind one, is because it may take you a minute, you know, to get those Aegis counters off of them. And if that's the case, which I find it to be regularly the case, it takes thirty seconds to a minute, sometimes even more, um, to remove all those counters, especially somebody defensive like Mordo, and then you have just uh, two thirds of the time, or, or less even maybe to finish the battle so you've got to get somebody that can really stack up a lot of damage in a short amount of time so you know you may not die in the match but you also don't want to time out in war because that's the same as dying it doesn't cost you the same in, in items but uh, as far as points go it's this you know timing out is the same as dying so you don't want to do that so obviously domino is going to be an excellent high damage output as long as it's not a, a specific counter for her so there you go there was um the first heavy Aegis node, and then there was the intercept one against Void, and then there was, uh, our surprise there was another Mordo, which actually isn't all that surprising. So, anyway, um, that's the gist of Aegis. Uh, make sure you have multiple hit heavy characters when you're fighting against the heavy Aegis, and in any case, try to get somebody that really puts out a lot of damage, because it's going to reduce the amount of, once you get the Aegis nodes off of them, um, you're going to reduce the amount of time you have to beat them. So anyway, um, I hope that was interesting. I hope that helps. And uh, if you guys have to go across that path in war, then uh, best of luck to you. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Talk to you later. Bye.